2018 is gone. 2019 is here. Some of the predictions that actually fit in 2018 price. Oh, it's gonna go to one million dollars. Oh, some people said it's gonna go to one thousand five hundred. Some said it's gonna go to four thousand. There are many predictions. 2019, you don't want to focus on the predictions. You want to see where is the industry tending to. What are the tendencies? What are the indices that actually indicate that this is the direction to which the industry is likely to head to in 2019? One of them would be blockchain as a service. So when you see services like the companies like Amazon, so it's going to be in that domain from the people who are involved with a WordPress kind of system, content management system. Here you have a website like WordPress, Squarespace, uh, uh, Squarespace um, Wiz, and all that. So with Wiz, you could create practically almost any website you want. There is, you don't have to know code. The templates are there. You just come register, you drag and drop, you put the images wherever you want to put them in order. You will start writing then your website is set what about squarespace so you can get a quality website for as low as less as 200 dollars and you don't need any professional touch with it the same thing with wordpress so that is the era where blockchain is going to gravitate to in the near future people are going to send the benefits of blockchain if that business are going to say okay how do I build the website? Because one of the things, if you are building a website, uh, a, a blockchain service, you want to consider uh, the storage of the data. The data, uh, do I have the expertise to actually build these services? So, blockchain as a service is something that is going to uh, come up in 2019, possibly or beyond. So, you should really expect that. Uh, the companies who are already doing that. But it's going to increase more. And then we're going to see, according to the article, a hybrid of blockchains. This is like of trying to offer the best of both worlds, um, not too private and not too public. Because there are justifiable reasons why we should have a public blockchain. And there are also justifiable reasons why we should have a private blockchain. So getting the hybrid of it to receive the best is going to actually come up and then we're going to have a um, federated blockchain this one is not a private private this one is not a public this one is a hybrid this one is just like saying um let's say for example is supply chain as you can see here supply chain or insurance or whatsoever or let's say a group of banks can actually come up and form a federated blockchain we can be using to uh, trace things or actually confirm transactions so that is, is a possibility that is likely to come up in 2019 or then also have the recurring contract as contract so this will not just be uh, smart contracts that are just there for the everyday no it's a smart contract that will be readable by in, in, in english or in the local language every single person can understand and we can actually say that this is how we sign it so okay it's not like the code this would be normal contract, but underneath it will be the code and everything. But you can see that this is a normal contract, and a person who is signing knows what he is actually signing. And then the fifth is that we're going to see things like interoperability between blockchain, cross servicing, uh, swaps, and uh, not most of the things that we're actually seeing now. We will see greater and uh, more possibilities in the near future from atomic swaps um atomic swaps uh cross chain services it's it's gonna be much and then um i think it's gonna be the year of stable coins especially in the arena of trading commerce we're gonna see the benefits of um stable coins whether it's the fiat collateralized, whether it's the crypto collateralized, whether it's um, 
maybe asset collateralized or whatsoever. We're going to say the advantages and all that. So we can see it's affordable in extremely fast remittances, can be used for peer to peer payments, can be used as an everyday currency, an everyday additional level of security. Um, and then um, I think there will be more fiat uh, stablecoin pairings when it comes to trading. Though we have the, there are certain limitations on that. It's going to be the year of security to lose. I guess so. Then there is also an article that says nearly 1,000 cryptocurrency projects died during the year beer market. We saw companies lean over 70% of their staff. We saw Bitmain saying they want to sack all their staff. We saw some companies shutting down like basis after raising 100, I think 100 million dollars. Just many things. I think one of the things that was not addressed in this article though they talk about maybe the legal is that there will be regulation even they're trying to pass a lot of laws now not like it acts on to separate the wheat from the shaft those are the times and then um, the question of accountability how much water then just, just many steps and then we have issues like facebook is actually developing uh, their own currency that will be used on WhatsApp and there are plenty of ones.